asking about Quirt Evans. Quirt Evans? You know him? He's quite a man of the gals. You're pulling in Quirt Evans around here. Quirt Evans. Quirt Evans. Quirt Evans. He's closed the eyes of any a man. That Quirt Evans is sure as something. Give me that horse. Where'd Evans? You're injured, man. Let us take you in the house. I'm afraid he's had a very violent life. Yeah. You're awake. Sure. I'm awake. Where am I? Don't you remember? Father and I drove you into town. As many people call this Quakers. Oh, it's a religion. Is that Quaker stuff? It's a belief. Mother! Father is awake. How is he? Hungry. Oh, well, he's hungry. He's going to be all right. Thanks a lot for housing. Thanks for sewing the shirt. But I can't find my pants. Get back in bed. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not. I didn't think religious people were quite so sudden and direct. Well, that's the way I feel, and it'd be dishonest to say anything else. Yeah. Friends, we all know the purpose of this meeting is to give thanks for the goodness bestowed upon us. But also, we're at heaven. Friends. This is Quirt Evans. We're happy to have him here with us. May I shake your hand, Quirt Evans? There's a sight I never thought I'd see. Quirt Evans behind the plow. West Beaumont Clinic, the Marshal of the Territory. Haven't you got some real important business to attend to? Someplace else? But I always like to keep track of your whereabouts. I always figured on using a new rope and hanging you. Kind of respected you. Now, that little gal should marry some young fella who know what to do with that plow. No, Quirt. You don't rate a new rope with me. I don't see any gun. I know him. He's got a gun, all right. I know him. Burn up the road both ways. If she has a lucid moment, you'd better speak to her. I know that to her, the world's worst tragedy would be that you should kill a man. Quirt! But we're about to see a perfect example of an eye for an eye. He said to come out in the street. He's waiting for you. Who's this? Kurt Evans. Kurt! Quirt. Well, the 
Mr. Grimport. But I'm patient. It's only a matter of time and I hang you. Not me, mister. From now on, I'm a farmer. <laughs>